All right, greetings everyone. This is Eric, a founder and CEO of Cubicle Investing. Definitely visit the website at cubicleinvesting.com and there you can download my free ebook that will teach you the basics of options trading. And also, if you download the free ebook, you will be put into my email distribution where you will start to receive my weekly newsletter called the Cubicle Weekly Reader, where I, of course, I talk about investing uh in the stock market also cryptocurrencies and also from time to time give book recommendations i'm a very avid reader so i give book recommendations um and i talk about other topics as well so you definitely want to be a part of the cubicle weekly reader readership so today is december the 5th it's approximately uh 12 52 p.m uh, I got into a vertical credit spread this morning. Uh, so you can see it's 12.52 p.m. I got into this vertical uh, call credit spread. Uh, put this on about 9.59 uh, this morning. Uh, the price of the underlying was roughly around 4.40.30. Right, and I also put this trade on in my, in my think of swim account as well. So I'm, I'm in this same trade. Um, and I think a swim account but I got a 50 cent credit here and I got 40 cents uh, credit on my and my think a swim account and so I put this on because uh, well first of all because last week um, the market had been up the market actually finished above its 200 day moving average and the 200 day moving average is a technical indicator that I pay attention to because it's one that uh, most investors use to determine whether or not the market is in a bearish trend or a bullish trend. Bearish meaning it's going down, bullish meaning it's going up. And so, uh, as you can see here, uh, this black line represents the 200 day moving average. So this here is a daily chart of the S&P 500 and it's year to date. So. Everything that has taken place thus far this year in 2022 on a daily basis is what this chart is conveying. And so this black line, again, represents the 200 day moving average. So as you can see, every since around April, right? So this here represents uh, represents uh, the, the month of April. Ever since around April, um, the price of SPX, the price of SPX has actually um, bumped up against the 200 day moving average. And so the 200 day moving average has actually acted as a point of resistance for the S&P 500. However, this past week, because the, the chairman of the Federal Reserve, Jerome Powell, uh, seemed to convey that during that last meeting of this year, um, which, is, which will take place December the 13th and 14th, uh, they, they are gonna probably look to not implement a 75 point uh, base, uh, 75 basis point uh, rate hike, and they may pull back a bit, right? Because the last four meetings, they have raised the interest rate by 75 basis points or 0.75%. And so the market is, is desirous of, or the market is looking for any indication that the Federal Reserve is going to pivot, meaning that they're gonna pull back from the 75 basis points uh, interest rate hike to maybe a 50 or 25. And so Jerome Powell last week seemed to convey that they're gonna potentially not do 75, but do a 50 basis point uh, points rate hike uh, this, this month. And so as a result, the market responded in a positive manner. And as you can see here, um, it actually surpassed uh, the 200 day moving average for the first time since back in, back in March of this year, right? But nevertheless, um, you know, the sentiment, the overall sentiment is, is still one of, of, of bearish, right? It's still a bearish overall sentiment. And also Bureau of Labor Statistics uh, reported last week that the unemployment rate um, is still rather low. It's, it's not as high as the Federal Reserve would like. And so 
I think the market sort of um, acted prematurely last week, you know, and as a result, we can see here today, the market is actually pulling back, right? So the market is actually right now uh, is actually below that 200 day moving average, right? So again, that 200 day moving average is um, something you might want to, you know, keep your eye on because again, uh, most investors really use that to determine whether or not the market is in an uptrend or downtrend or is bullish or bearish. And as you can see here, the, the black line is still on a downward slope, uh, meaning that or conveying that, you know, we, we are still in a in a in a bearish uh, in, a, in a bear market. And so uh, with that now having said that, and also looking at the uh, advanced declining indicator. So looking at the number of stocks that are increasing on the New York Stock Exchange versus the number of stocks that are decreasing. Uh, this morning, uh, the, when the market opened, uh, it was negative territory, just like it is now. It was negative 1,500, you know, basically conveying that there are more stocks going down and also the volume, the up volume minus the down volume was also in negative territory and it's still in negative territory. Uh, so, you know, just conveying that there are more uh, 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 stocks. Uh, so the stocks that are declining on the New York Stock Exchange have more volume going into those versus the, the stocks that are increasing on the on the uh, NYSC. So, yeah, so and then also the fact that every every sector that makes up the S&P 500, the 11 sectors, are also negative right so you got the energy sector you got the information technology sector you got the healthcare sector etc cetera, etc cetera. everything is pointing to um, the the uh, the market uh, actually being down during today's trading session and so again you just trade what you see you know now most folks are probably bullish you know because of what took place uh, last week but, uh, but yeah, so I decided to put on a vertical call credit spread on, you know, on the call side, of course, um, selling, just, you know, keeping it small, selling three contracts. And also I have the same trade on in my uh, Thinkorswim account. Uh, now last week, well, actually a couple of weeks ago, I did put, I did uh, sell um, a few, uh, a few naked put options on coin, uh, C-O-I-N, just because um, it was down, and I also read that the uh, Ark Invest was actually, um, you know, uh, heavily investing in coin, considering that it was that it was down. So just bought uh, bought a few uh, naked put options on coin, and just closed them out this morning for a 95% return on my uh, invested capital. So, so yeah. So um, you know, in spite of the fact that you know I mentioned that. We at Cubicle Investing primarily do uh, vertical call, vertical credit spreads. We do from time to time, we do sell uh, naked options and primarily we sell naked options on the put side, right? Because for the most part, the market is, is, is primarily uh, going up versus going down. But we do take advantage of when underlines, you know, fall back um, to a certain price point uh, when you look at it uh, in, 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 uh, in relationship to its all-time high, you know, um, we will sell uh, naked put options on certain underlines, particularly those underlines that are, that, uh, that pay a dividend, right? Because, and we, we only do this on underlines that we would prefer, that we don't mind owning the stock. Because if you sell a naked put option and if the price of the underlying falls below your put option, uh, on a day of expiration, then you're going to be put that stock. You're going to put 100 shares of that stock, you know, for every option contract you sell. So you want to do that. You want to sell naked options on on stock that you don't mind owning. But that, so that, that, was the, uh, that was a mouthful, but nevertheless. So, yeah, so uh, again, um, we got three hours before the market closes. Um, I probably should take this off right now, but everything is pointing to the market um Closing down today uh, is roughly down 65 points, as you can see here, 65, 66, and some change. And so, yeah, um, probably going to keep this on until you know, just let it expire. Worthless, worthless, meaning that uh, the price of the underlying 
underlying being SPX is going to it's going to close out uh, below my strike prices on the call side of 4070 and 4075. Yeah, so hopefully you guys are are trading what you see and not what you think. Um, yeah, so uh, although the the implied volatility is relatively low on the S&P uh, 500 and the VIX, the VIX is also relatively low as well. Um, it's at 20. I prefer it to be at least 25 or more because the higher the VIX, the more the higher the premiums you can get um, for selling vertical uh, vertical credit spreads on the SPX, and also the further away you can get from the price of the underlying, right? When the VIX is high, you know. So, um, so yeah. So, I just want to make this quick video to um, to give you guys my thoughts. And so hopefully you guys are successfully trading. And again, visit the website at cubicleinvesting.com and download the free ebook so that you can begin to receive my weekly newsletter called the Cubicle Weekly Reader.